So summer is almost over and the iPhone 12 release is around the corner and we have just had a leak that the iPhone 12 120 hz display is happening now. Of course I want to tell you all about it. So sit back for my latest news about the Apple iPhone 12 release date and price with my latest iPhone 12 review of designs and specs. So if you want to hear the latest gaming news, tech news, reviews and comparisons, hit that subscribe button followed by the bell. iPhone 12 launch date is coming closer and we are getting more leaks about the 120Hz display that might appear in the Pro models. If you follow my channel already you will know that I do a weekly video of all the latest leaks we have found out this week for all you Apple fanboys and girls for the iPhone 12. Then after I do a recap of such details of all the iPhone model specs and the Apple iPhone 12 launch date along with the iPhone 12 price we expect to pay for the upcoming models. But first, before we go on any further with this video, this channel has recently hit 30,000 subscribers. So I'm over the moon with this and I want to give another giveaway to one lucky subscriber. So the lucky subscriber will win an iPhone XR when we hit 50,000 subscribers. And this is the 256 gigabyte model and it is the black one. And just in case you think I've forgotten, the winner of the iPad mini was John Sims and that's when we got to 25,000 subscribers. I've got in contact with him and he is super happy and this will be on his way to you. But if you want to win the iPhone XR, if you want to be in the chance, the details are coming up later on in this video. Anyway, let's dive in on the latest iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Pro news. So since the iPhone 11, there's been lots of iPhone 12 leaks given, and if you want all those previous details, check out my other iPhone 12 videos on this channel. So let's start with that leak of the iPhone 12 120Hz screen leak. This leak comes from none other than the main man of iPhone leaks, John Prozer. John is saying that an early pre-production version or PVT model, PVT means production validation test, has been spotted on an iPhone 12 Pro Max with a number of sophisticated settings including support for a 120Hz refresh rate for the phone's display. Before we all get excited about 120Hz coming to the iPhone 12 or mainly the iPhone 12 Pro models, remember these are just leaks, not official announcements. So it's important to remember that this is just a PVT sample. This device is meant to test features that may or may not be included in the final retail units. Prozer claims that even now, Apple has not made a final call on the iPhone 12 Pro Max retail specs. Furthermore, it's unclear if all these features will make it onto the smaller iPhone 12 Pro or even the standard iPhone 12 as this was only spotted on an iPhone 12 Pro Max. On top of that, with Apple still trying to nail down final specs and features, this would seem to be confirmed the rumours that the iPhone 12's official release date will come later than September and it will probably come in October or even November time depending on the model. I'll tell you more about this later on with release dates and information to do with that. Looking at these leaks where we can see a toggle enabling a 120Hz refresh rate and whilst this is in the photo here on the software we have seen software in the past showing features that never actually come into the final model. So in my summary part of this video for the iPhone specs I'm going to say it's still up in the air if we will get this or not. Prozer also notes that whilst this particular PVT unit did have support for a high refresh rate display, the same cannot be said for all iPhone 12 Pro Max PVT units. This may sound confusing, what Prozer is claiming is only half of Apple's test phones have support for this feature. Interestingly, the description of Apple's adaptive refresh settings says the device is able to alter the refresh rate from 120Hz to 60Hz in accordance of the content displayed on the screen, which sounds very similar to the new VRR screen featured in Samsung's Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. This suggests that similar to previous years, Samsung displays could be Apple's main panels provider, at least for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. If you've seen my other videos, I've also made this claim as well. Well, another leak comes from John Prozer, and this is to do with the same iPhone 12 Pro Max, and it's to do with the cameras. 
There's a long list of high-end special modes and features including video options for recording at both 4K 120 frames per second and also 4K 240 frames per second and a toggle to enable bit depth video which would allow users to capture an increased number of colours compared to the standard settings. When it comes to still photos there's also mentions at last that the iPad Pro 2020 LiDAR sensor is coming over to the iPhone 12 Pro Max at least to use lasers to deliver speedier and sharper autofocus. Again, because this claim is still up in the air, in my summary part of the video, I will still probably say that this is not 100% confirmed as of yet. But there also appears to be an enhanced night mode, what seems to be a step above the iPhone's existing auto low light settings that in some circumstances requires the iPhone to be mounted to something stationary like a um, tripod for example. This means Apple could be prepping to include something similar to the astrophotography mode Google introduced on the Pixel 4 last year, or even a more general long exposure photo setting, which is something I've been wanting to see the more camera makers include in new phones like you get on the DSLR. There are even additional toggles for some kind of advanced noise reductions and extra zoom capabilities. Once again, as with all leaks and rumours, do take them with a pinch of salt. However, as this is John Prozer, and he does have a great reputation of getting things right on release, maybe take a handful of salt. So with those two leaks out of the way, you'll be wanting to know the iPhone 12 release date. So normally always Apple do an event in September time for the iPhone and the Apple Watch as well in recent years. However, this year we'll be getting the Apple Watch and iPad reveal first before the actual iPhone 12. However, we'll be informed the iPhone 12 event will be happening a week commencing October 12 with the normal iPhone 12 and Max releasing a week later. However, we've been informed, and it's quite understandable due to the pandemic, the Pro models of the iPhone 12 will be coming out maybe in November time, but no exact dates have been confirmed. But with those new LiDAR and 120 Hz leaks, maybe we can now understand a bit more why the delay is happening on the Pro models. So that competition I mentioned earlier, to be in a chance, make sure you have hit that subscribe button and the bell first, and then I want to know from you if you own an iPhone at the moment. What model do you have, or maybe you prefer Android? I would love to know in the comments below what phone do you have and what is going to be your next. With the latest Note 20 launch and the soon to be iPhone 12 release, will either be on your shortlist? Let me know below to be in the chance to win that iPhone XR when we hit 50,000 subscribers and I will reveal the winner shortly afterwards. So with that leak and the release date out of the way, this is where I do a recap like in all my other iPhone 12 videos recently of everything we know about the iPhone 12 model specs and price. So let's start with the standard iPhone 12. And this iPhone 12 is the smallest one that will come out this year. It has a 5.4 inch display and it will be an OLED display this time instead of an LCD display that we have had on the iPhone 11 and the iPhone XR and previous other iPhones as well. Its resolution comes in at 2340 by 1080. Now there has been rumours going around that all the iPhone 12s would have a 120Hz display. I'm afraid that is not the case here. It will only have a standard 60Hz display definitely on this iPhone 12. But though you will get 4 gigs of RAM inside this iPhone 12 with the options of 128 gigabytes, 256 gigabytes storage options. On top of that as well, you do get that A14 Bionic. This is Apple's newest A chip and it will have 5G connectivity. On top of that as well, the actual phone body will actually be made out of an aluminium body this time for this iPhone 12 and the next one we'll see in a mo. On the back, we have a very, very similar setup to the iPhone 11, where we'll have a dual camera setup. However, though, we have been told that the camera lenses will be changed this year to be better. On top of that as well, the battery inside the iPhone 12 will be a 2,227 milliamp battery. 
The base model is coming in at 699 US dollars and that will give us the 4 gigs of RAM and the 128 gigabytes storage space inside. So the next iPhone is the iPhone 12 Max, not to be confused with the Pro Max, it's just 12 Max. And this iPhone will feature a bigger display than its little brother with a 6.1 inch OLED display. If you recognize 6.1, yes, that is the same display size as the iPhone 11 and the iPhone XR. This display, like I said, is an OLED display and it comes in at 2,532 by 1,170 pixels. Again, it will have a 60 hertz refresh rate as well. The specs are very similar to that 5.4 inch iPhone where you'll get 4 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs or 256 gigabytes storage options. Again, you get that brilliantly new A14 Bionic processor with 5G connectivity and that body for this iPhone will be made out of aluminium as well. For camera setup, like I said, on the other iPhone, it will be a dual camera setup, but we will see some new lens on it. For battery size, we get a 2,775 milliamp battery. The base model for this one is starting at 799 US dollars, and that will give you the four gigs of RAM and the 128 gigabyte storage option iPhone 12 Max. So those are the normal iPhone 12s as it were out of the way. We are now stepping into the Pro territory and the first iPhone 12 Pro we have is a 6.1 inch display iPhone 12 Pro. This is an increase on the 5.8 iPhone 11 Pro that came out in 2019. Again it has an OLED display and again it has that resolution of 2532 by 1117. Now the next bit of information, we're getting conflicts. We have heard that the iPhones and all the iPhone 12s this year will have a 60 hertz display. However, we have heard other leaks as well. There's a possibility of 120 hertz, but no one can confirm which one is true and which one is not. So we'll just have to wait and see closer to the time. This iPhone though does come with six gigs of RAM. It comes with a choice of 128, 256 and a 512 gigabyte storage. Again, it has the A14 Bionic with 5G connectivity, but the frame this time of this body of this iPhone is actually made out of stainless steel this time. On the back, we will again get that triple camera set up and this time there is a possibility that we will have a lidar sensor this is the same sensor that is on the 2020 ipad pro again this information keeps conflicting that we will get this or not but we'll just have to wait and see on top of that as well we have a 2775 milliamp battery inside the same as the iphone 12 manx and the base model is coming in at 999 us dollars for that 6 gigs of RAM and the 128 gigabyte storage option. Finally, we have the last one, the beast. We have the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And this iPhone comes in with a 6.7 inch OLED display with a resolution of 2778 by 1280. Again, we're unclear if it'll have the 60 hertz or the 120 hertz, just like the smaller Pro. And again, it comes with six gigs of RAM, the choice of 128, 256, or 512 gigabyte storage options. We get that A14 Bionic with 5G connectivity as well. And on top, we also get that lovely new stainless steel frame body. The camera setup is similar to the Pro. We will get that triple camera setup. And again, that conflict of knowing if we will get a LiDAR sensor or not. The battery inside this iPhone 12 Pro Max is a 3687 milliamp battery size. The base model is coming in at 1099 US dollars and that will give you the 6 gigabyte RAM model and 128 gigabyte storage. For ports on all the iPhones, they will feature a lightning connection, not a USB-C. Apple still believe that many iPhones require a lightning connection at the moment because there are still many accessories that require that. 
However though, inside the box of the new iPhone 12, you will get a lightning cable to USB-C end. And also, as I have mentioned, and I've rambled on before, and I'm not gonna do it this time, that is, you will not be getting a charger inside the box with that cable. And at the same time as well, no cabled AirPods either. Finally, it's also worth noting that this year, all four iPhones will be IP68 at four meters of depth. So this means if you're gonna go away with your iPhone and you chuck it into a swimming pool, it can survive up to four meters of depth, clean water up to 30 minutes before any serious damage happens to the phone. However, I wouldn't really try doing this. Watch somebody else on YouTube who does have a lot of money to waste and also check out to see if the iPhone 12s will survive four meters of water. With all of that being said, are you excited about the iPhone 12 and will you be getting one? Let me know below what model you plan to buy. Well guys, that is the latest and greatest info we have on the iPhone 12 at this stage. If we do get any more info, of course we will share it with you. Don't forget if you like this video to press that like button and of course to hear the latest gaming news, tech news, reviews and comparisons, please do hit that subscribe button followed by the bell. Until next time guys, see ya.